Hey guys, welcome back to the series of my go-to exercises. Today we're talking about shoulder external rotation. Our shoulder should be very mobile. External rotation is created by two muscles of the rotator cuff, the infraspinatus and the teres minor. They're very important, but they are so often ignored in the gym. Lay on your side, roll up a towel, or if you're at a gym, something I've used before are those pads that people will use when they squat, that'll work just as well. But you wanna take that and put it underneath your arm right there. There's two reasons that you do this. It optimally aligns you to activate your rotator cuff in the best possible way. The second reason is it creates feedback here so you don't compensate and lift your arm rather than simply rotating. One thing to talk about as a setup, your shoulder blade needs to be tucked and engaged the whole time meaning you're actively squeezing that and holding it there. That creates a stable base for your rotator cuff to activate on. Once you're there, you're rotating up, holding for a few seconds, and down. Don't let your wrist crank. You want it to remain stable the whole time. And like I said, don't let your arm come up either. Last piece is don't rotate back to feel like you're getting higher here. So stay stable through here. It's just rotation in the shoulder. So you're rotating up, hold a couple seconds, and down. Now I promise you, if you're doing it like that, 10 to 15 reps is going to burn. And that's what I'm looking for, about 10 to 15 solid reps on each side. I'm gonna show you this angle without my shirt to show you the activation and the muscle itself moving. So first, let's activate those shoulder stabilizers. So you tuck and squeeze that shoulder blade so now things are tucked in well. Now from there, I'm rotating up, holding for a couple seconds, and then down. If you can see on my shoulder blade, right about here, that muscle is moving. That's the muscle belly of the infraspinatus. The teres minor is right underneath that, right about here. This will start to burn. It's one of those exercises that the first five or so reps will feel like you're doing nothing, and then out of nowhere, it's gonna get very difficult very fast. Don't break down your form. I'd rather you do 10 good form reps than 15 where the last five are sloppy. Let's talk sequencing. Personally, I try to hit rotator cuff every time I lift my shoulders and that's my go-to staple for external rotation. Something else you could do is make it a warm up for your arm days. Do that with a couple other movements just to get blood flowing and rotator cuff involved and that'll help carry over into your other lifts. So that's it for this one, external rotation of that shoulder. If you want more content like this, I'll post some on the side here. I'll see you over there, bye.